<laughs> You're one of the most prominent broadcast journalists. You had your own show on CNN, Talking Points. And then a couple years ago, you suddenly left. Yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? I think they told me they wanted to take the morning show a different direction, which means they want to get other people to anchor. And at that time, I was asked if I wanted to stay on. And I really thought that I wanted to take what I was known for, which were some of the docs that we were doing and some of the hard-hitting journalism that we were doing, and I think at a pretty high level. And I thought maybe this would be a good time to see if we could roll this into another company. And so we launched our startup, Starfish Media Group, uh, about two and a half years ago. And it was great, and it was chaos. <laughs> and we were really, uh, really busy and really overwhelmed. CNN became my first client the day after I left, uh, which was great. And we started seeing if we could create a new model where instead of the typical talent model is, I work for you, I you know, do this, I get paid this, and I get these many weeks of vacation, could in fact we work for a bunch of different organizations and have a model where we own our own content, which meant that we could actually be responsible some of the time for distribution. And so far it's worked out pretty well because I think the industry has really shifted. I, I'm not sure I could have done that five years ago or, or six years ago. It's a completely different model. And you're actually tackling some of the toughest issues of our time. You're taking on race relations in America, PTSD, suicide, I mean, uh, women. I like women. uncomfortable and awkward conversations. Yeah. I mean, I think race is always a really, um, a really interesting and often uncomfortable conversation. We did a documentary that looked at women rescue workers at 9-11. And I remember the debate about whether or not we should even focus on women who are rescue, rescuers versus the rescued. You know, we felt that they had been written out of the public record, and when we checked the data, they you had been. You debated oh, focusing absolutely. on women. My, my winning line that, got, that, that, that won the debate was, do you know how many stories I've done on rescue dogs of 9-11? A lot. I've done a lot. So I think an hour on women, and I think what ended up happening with that documentary was it, it did so well, partly because you're just telling a different narrative. I mean, it's, it, it's an interesting story to everyone, not just women and not just women who are rescue workers, but, but when you tell stories about people who are often undercovered, I think you actually widen the tent and bring a lot of people in. We found when we started our Black in America series that we not only grew our African American audience, but we grew our white audience at CNN massively. Our Latino in America doc series brought in a ton of black viewers who wanted to see Latino in America. So I think sometimes the cliched thoughts about who wants to see a, a different story is not just, oh, it's about this, so it's only for these people. I think people are interested in the complex narrative that is the American narrative. Absolutely.